guys, it's Erin, and um, I'm going to try and film this. I, I've been feeling really badly since um, since April 9th when I went to the expo. I'm pretty sure I got sick, even though I wore a mask, because cystic fibrosis. But um, anyway, normally when I go to an expo, I try and look around for the current things that I you know want to get, and I was hoping that with Anaheim being so late in the year, this time, because like it, it used to be in January and then I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back. I figured since it was in April, we would get um, we would get newer papers and everything, and I didn't find any of them. I don't know if they were sold out or if we weren't looking in the right booths or whatever, but none of us found any of the current CHA releases. So I just went ahead and got them on scrapbook.com. So I'm going to share some of the paper with you first. I got... The American Crafts Dear Lizzie Documentary 6x6 pad. I didn't want to get the full 12x12 and I couldn't really decide that I liked enough of them to get them in 12x12. But I thought that these papers would mix really well with my collections. And the nice thing about the American Crafts 6x6 pa paper pads is that there's no duplicates. It's just 36 sheets. So if you don't like something, you don't have to deal with it twice or three times. But of course, if you do like something, you only get it once. So it's kind of a trade-off there, but I would rather have, um, I would rather ration things that I like than have to throw away things that I don't. So I got that, and then um, I separated these things out. Uh, these, which collection are these? Um, this is the Amy Tangerine Better Together, and I have it separated by which side of the paper I would use. So um, this is the yellow the yellow side. I, I'll, I might use the arrows because arrows are always good, but the side that I like best is what I picked and, you know, the reason that I bought it. So this one's a, a blue polka, or a white polka dot with sort of a blue, dreamy cloudy type background, which I really like, and then that's a pink that I'm not going to use, but I'll show both sides because I know some people are like, oh, well I actually like the other side, so there you go. Um, this is an aqua what do you call that? Hexagon? And then these are, see, I, w I like the pattern, but I don't like all the pink of the, um, the cassette tapes. And then uh, you've got a bunch of triangles in various colors. And then I would also probably use this, too, because there's, there's a lot of dark blue. I don't know if it's still navy or if this is just dark blue, but I would call it dark blue. So um, I, I, like the, I like the color combinations in this kit, or not kit, um, line with the aqua, the, the lighter blue, and then the dark blue, and, you know, white accents and stuff. I think that's nice. And um, you'll see I got pieces from the Chamel collection, and they're, they're kind of mix, or they kind of match. So um, this one I got for the rainbow because I love rainbows, and then also I can use the back because it's just a nice aqua. And this one is an orphan. It's by Jen Hatfield Homemade. And this one is the Everyday Collection, I guess. And it's just... Um, it's wooden triangles on a wooden background, or on a, a wood grain background rather. And then it's also got words like, you are my greatest adventure, love grows here, think happy, be happy, live like it's the weekend, um, thank you, stuff like that. And it's got, you know, nice words. So I thought that I would use that and it would go well with this collection too, so... I got those. I mean, Amy Tangerine and, and Dear Lizzie to a lesser extent, and then now Chamel are pretty much my go-to paper people. And, you know, I guess I'm an American crafts whore now, but whatever. <laughs> they acquired everyone. It's not my fault. They just literally bought up everything. So, um, these are the Starshine papers. The only problem I have with Chamel is she's super random with her um, like colors sometimes <coughs> excuse me and you listen to her and she's like oh yeah I wanted to pick you know 17 or 18 and colors and they're like no you, you gotta pick like six so you know it's like, okay calm down with all the colors and the patterns you know but um, these ones I think will go really well with the other collection so I might end up just mixing them together and calling it one big American crafts thing from 2016 but um, these are officially the Starshine papers. So there's that one. Obviously there's a lot of theme, uh, you know stars in this theme, but this is what I mean, like it's so random color-wise. And that's, like, I, I could never use that on any of my stuff, so. 
um, obviously I'm sticking with this side. And then this is a, a dark blue and black cross hatch, and again with the random colors on there. I'm going to attempt to use this one the way it is. I have a couple of stamps that this could really go with, so that's why I picked this one because I, I, don't, I don't like that color. It's like a salmon. I don't know. But I did intend to use this, so we'll see what happens. Again, it's a lot of color, so I don't know. Um, this one I really like. It's just the gray old-fashioned stars. And then, yeah, that's pink on the back. Um, this is very geometric stars. And then it's got yellow hexagons on the back, which I might actually use because it's a, it's a good color. Again, they all seem to be the same colors and similar patterns, so it works out that, you know, I end up liking everybody's lines, or at least these three, because I guess crepe paper is American Crafts, and I don't tend to purchase much crepe paper. But um, this one, yeah, I don't really see the point, but I like the sides, so. So that's the Chamel Starshine that I got, and just continuing on with the paper, I also picked up this Happy Camper set, and um, if you've been watching on Instagram, my when my in-laws came, we did sort of a road trip thing. We went to go see them in the Grand Canyon, and then they came here to our house, and then we drove to Yosemite, we drove up to my parents' house, and then back. Um, so it's kind of a whole road trippy thing, and I really like the the not only the colors of this, but you know the road trip type theme of you know the mountains and and open road and stuff like that. And unfortunately, it doesn't show you really all of the colors except for or all of the patterns except for in this little thing here. But I thought it would be good. Um, the only problem is some of the photos have like super bright greens because you know California, we we're still still on the tail end of when everything's green before it all turns golden and brown. Um, so I, I might have a little bit of a hard time. I might have to cycle in some green or something. But um, I also got the die cuts for this set. And a lot of those match with the whole, you know, national park type theme. So I'm going to try. You know, we'll, we'll see. If it doesn't work, I'll use another line. It's not like I don't have enough paper. So there's that. Um, in making the canvas for my in-laws, I really enjoyed the beach theme, and I kind of wanted to continue on with that. And I wanted some die cuts that I, that were not only big, but were chipboard. And I know I can make my cameo do it, but I have this weird thing where I only want to make it do paper. So <laughs> I found these by uh, Fab Scraps, and I was surprised at how big. Like, you can see it's bigger than my whole hand. Um... But what I wanted to do was glue it in the back and then cover the whole thing with gesso and like spray it or something so that it was like an element that sort of faded into the background and wasn't a focal point, but you could see that it was, you know, a ship's wheel and, and you know, like maybe an anchor or something like that. So I thought that would be fun. And there's three of the um, the wheels in here and they're, they're pretty thick. So that'll be good to be able to use on different canvases and depending on the size of the canvas, I might cut it in half. So that's why I got that. Uh, and lastly, from scrapbook.com, I got a bunch of um, things from Prima, and I was really interested in the, the art stones, because the last canvas that I did, let me get it, this one, which there is a video for from the beginning to the end, um, I was thinking of using that kind of thing in in here and you know and with the beads and the glitter and all of that and I, I thought that would be fun but I didn't really want to wait to finish this canvas so I'm just like I'll oh, screw it. I'll do it next time but um, that's why I got these micro beads in silver because I thought it would be cool to mix in um, the little nooks and crannies like I did with the stuff on here um, and then yeah I was thinking of doing that with the mini art stones these things are super light like I don't know if you can if you can tell just by me holding it. I actually don't want to open this one. I want to open this one. Um, they're made of like some sort of... It's not foam. But... I don't even know how to describe it. Like what what it even is. I keep trying to read like what it's made of. It just says archival safe and non-toxic. Um, it's almost like puffed rice. Like Rice Krispies. Uh, it, it's even got little... Um, I don't know the camera can pick that up but it's even got little pock marks in it because it's it's hollow but they're super light 
and supposedly you can mix them with color. I was thinking of putting not just paint but something like alcohol inks on them uh, to color them because I, I thought they were white. They're more of a um, they're more of a concrete color. So, but anyway, these ones are the size of the the mini the silver mini beads. So of course, if that if it doesn't work out with me making it silver, I had the sil silver mini beads, so that works. Um, and then this one, I'm actually kind of ticked off because apparently uh, Prima doesn't understand what platinum means. Now, platinum is a silver grayish color. You can look it up on Wikipedia, silver grayish color. This is pearl. This is not silver grayish. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty ticked about that because I bought that little, little tiny one from Fiber Castell and I was really pissed that it was just like a little bit of silver so now I have to be like, oh, do I actually want to use it? And I thought, okay, yeah, this is crackle so that's not quite what I wanted but this is a big thing of silver and I'm going to be able to use it wherever I want, blah, blah, blah. No, it's pearl. Look. So this is what it does and I'm not saying that this isn't pretty but this isn't what I wanted to buy. I didn't want to buy pearl, I wanted to buy silver. And, okay, so if I had looked it up or, you know, gone shopping somewhere, but scrapbook.com did not have in their description, this color is white. Scrapbook.com had their color matcher thing and all of those colors are gray because that's what platinum is. It's a silver gray. <coughs> so apparently they have another one that they decided to call silver and that actually is the color that I'm looking for, but the platinum is somehow white. They should have just called it pearl because it's sparkle white. And they have a flat white too, so why couldn't they just call one pearl one flat white? I don't know, but whatever, that ticked me off. Um, and then this is the, the silver beads in action if you want to see those. I made this today. So you can see, I just glued them down with, I just put them in, um, brushed on some gel medium and just kind of sprinkled them on there and they're not going anywhere. So, I mean, maybe they did go a little where. <laughs> you gotta brush it off first to make sure that everything got in there. I'm apparently losing my ability to talk, so give me a bit. Okay, forever and a day later, I can talk again for a little while, so we're gonna try and do this pretty quick. I'm sorry. Um, the other order I got was from Marker Pop and I wanted to get some more distress paint because when I was making those little birds, which, you know, again, there's a video for, I'll try and link it on here. Um, I was making those birds, I didn't quite have the colors that I wanted and I really wanted this wilted violet paint. So I went and got that and these, they only had the newer ones. So the carved pumpkin, the twisted citron and the mermaid lagoon, as well as the wilted violet were all uh, 2015's new releases. They didn't have any of the older ones, so I had to make those in a separate joanne.com order. But when I went to the Scrapbook Expo, I saw these these stamp sets, and I had been looking at them online, but I was thinking that they were like this big, and I didn't want to deal with little tiny flowers and everything like that, so I passed them up, but when I saw them at the Expo, I saw how big they are and how well that they would work in my journals as well as on cards or whatever. So I wanted to get them, but the store that was selling it had each of these sets for $11.99, and I'm like, no, there's no way I'm going to pay $11.99 for each set. It doesn't have to be that expensive. So I went online, and I went in search of them, and the only problem with that is, yeah, there's a lot of places that have them for cheaper. Like, this one was, what was it, $6, and this one was... I, I don't know, there were varying prices because I got some of them at Walmart, I got two of them on Amazon.com, but nobody had all of them. It was like, okay, well we have one, and then this place has another one, and this place has four, and this place has seven. So this is kind of a collection of, of, um, of hauls where I just bought this whole line of, I, I don't know if they're even together or whatever, but it's just, it's basically sets that are flower builders, but also it comes with stencils. And you get the outside as well as the inners, as Diane would say. Um, and Diane Reevely always says you get the inners, which is funny. But um, it, it's helpful because you get the stencil as well as the mask. So if you wanted, you know, depending on your project, if you wanted to use one or the other, you've got that stencil for the whole thing, or the mask, and you don't have to make your own mask. So I thought that that was really nice. This one is just, I, I didn't realize how similar these are. 
I mean, you could technically build this one from this, but I'm lazy, so I mean, I could just stamp this. So, <laughs> I got this one, and then these are the only ones that have come in. I'll do another video with the other ones that are coming in. I've got Joanne the order waiting for me at the post office, but Lord knows whenever Mike's going to be able to get it for, you know, for me, because we don't get mail delivery. So... <laughs> The other things I got were from Marker Pop, except for these. These were pre-ordered from the Greeting Farm directly. And these are little teeny stamps. She wanted to make stamps for planner people. Now, I don't do the whole planner thing, but I thought the idea of having smaller of the, um, of the Greeting Farm stamps would be cool. And the other cool thing that she did is they're called um, Mini Remix. And the reason they're called Remix is because, like, her body here is a stamp, her hair and her head is a stamp, I think, and then her hat is a stamp, because she just remixed how, they're, um, how they were put together. So you're not technically rebuying the stamp that you already have. She she took the different parts and made a, a new little person without having to, you know, draw a whole new person. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's nice for, you know, me who collects them obsessively. I, I used to be on their design team. And um, I used them before. But, yeah, once you get on the design team, you end up, like, ridiculously loyal. So, um, yeah, I was, I was their design team member for 2012 because it was a year after I got into Copic work. But, um, but yes, yeah, so there's that one, which is all coffee themed, so that's always fun. And then there's this one, which is just called Mini Remix Happy, and it's all the different little ones carrying bags, and then you've got a dog and a cat. So, hold that up closer so you can see. And again, I think those ones are, you know, heads and bodies and stuff, because I remember this one's hat, and that was not what her body looked like. <laughs> and then there's this one which is even smaller so if you are a planner person you can see you know just how small they are it's like it's like an inch and a half I think I'm not gonna measure because I don't care enough but um point is they're small so if you want them on you know smaller in one of those little squares or something they'll probably fit because that's what they're made for and this one's called mega mini amazing it's not called remix so it might not be remixed but anyway, I got those from pre-order. I'm pretty sure they're available now. I just got them like two weeks early or something before they were available because pre-order. Uh, and then, okay, so from Marker Pop, the rest of the uh, Greeting Farm stuff I got, I got the Miss Anya Spring set. And I really wish they wouldn't do this with the whole rubber and clear. Just do everything in clear so we can get rid of the rubber, please. Please, Marie, I love you. Just please, just because <laughs> trying to store all the different ones is driving me insane and then you know these ones I have to process and these ones are just fine just, ugh. but yeah that's probably my own pet peeve but whatever the point is why 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 do companies do this <laughs> so this is Miss Anya Spring and she comes with three different um three different girls or well I guess it's kind of the same girl but different outfits I don't know because I mean there's so many Anyas now I mean this is lovable Anya and starry Anya so there's so many Anyas <coughs> and you can see the girls there so they're you know about three and a half inches maybe and then these ones are clear because why not um, and so you've got lovable Anya and starry Anya and of course I love stars so that always works for me but yeah, you can see her little outfit is very similar right there. I like that. <coughs> and then you've got Mona Me Anya. And yeah, why couldn't she be clear? Why is... why? I mean, they're, they're the same size, and I, 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 don't, I don't know why she does this. I, I have no clue. <laughs> it's the same thing. But, um, but yeah, so that's Greeting Farm. And then from CC Designs, usually I would order directly from CC Designs, but um, Marker Pop had them for 20% off and then another 5 for some reason. And CC Designs was only offering 10, so who am I going to order from? And Marker Pop is actually in Fontana, which is uh, two and a half hours away from me. So I get the order pretty darn quick when it actually comes in. So I got the new releases, which is these ones. Which is these ones, because apparently it's CC Design's birthday, and so they did... All of these are Roberto's Rascals style. 
but um, you can see the little puppy in the in the box and the little kid with the sparkler and all of those. I thought those were super cute. And I have no idea where I'm going to use them, but I am officially a stamp collector and I, I, I there's no cure for it, so whatever. <laughs> and then this one is all animals celebrating birthdays. So you've got a little koala, you've got little mice, and then um, a bunny and a bird. Now, I think the bunny is now becoming one of their new characters because I've seen him pop up a couple times now. So, and then you can see it, it has a, like a colored thing on the back. I don't keep the packages, I just kind of throw it away. But if you wanted to have an example of how they can be colored, there it is. It's right there. And then the last one from, you know, the April new release is this one. And it had, you know, the older girl that they have. I don't know what her name is. Nancy. There you go. Her name is Nancy. So, yeah, she's the older girl of the Roberto's Rascals collection of characters. And then she comes with sentiments, too, which, eh, those are pretty innocuous, so I don't mind that one. You have the buttercream icing on the chocolate cake. That, that's interesting. <laughs> but they're not puns, so I might actually use them because I hate puns. Um, I'm very opinionated about stamps, if anybody hasn't noticed, but I, I'm an insane collector, so it's just like a crazy comic book nerd. We're, we're allowed to be opinionated. Um, and then these ones were from the, you know, previous releases that I just hadn't picked up yet. And, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I could live without it. And then you've either already made an order and you're stacking a cart or you've seen something enough times and it's kind of grown on you. So that's what happened with these guys. Uh, this is this is Henry and he's dressed like a chick. I would say a duck, but he's dressed like a chick. <laughs> he's got a little chick following him, which was obviously for the Easter release, so probably somewhere in February. Uh, this one is Henry dressed as a little bumblebee, so I thought that was really cute. I love um, little kids dressed up as bugs. There's a butterfly one, which I, I forget her name, but the girl is dressed up like a butterfly, and I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really feel like getting that one. I might, you never know, but I didn't feel like it, so I didn't uh, yet. <laughs> But I love bees, so definitely going to feature that one. And, like, wouldn't he look cute in with one of the flowers or something? So I might do that. And then lastly for this whole thing is, um, this is Nancy Gardens. So, again, she would go with the, um, the massive amount of flowers that I've purchased recently for some reason. Uh, so she, I think she would go really well with any of those. And she's just, she's just pretty in general. I like her little smile. So, um, that was all the stamps that I got. As far as new things in my journal I haven't showed you. I don't know where I showed last, but I finally started to do something with this page. I made it all rainy on this side, and then um, this side I punched out some flowers from rain paper, and then I messed up the stickles because that's what I do with stickles, is I kind of forget that they're still wet and smush them around. Uh, I haven't painted her yet, so, you know, this page isn't technically finished, but whatever. Um, this one I'm filming, so it's not done yet, but it's taking its sweet time because, like I said, I've been, I've been completely destroyed since the 9th, and it's, it's really frustrating. But my doctor's appointment is until the 28th, so I have to wait. Um, this page was just to test that crackle, so I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I just opened a page and said, here, stencil, because that's what journals are for, and eventually you figure out what you want to do with it. Uh, you probably didn't see this one yet on video anyhow. It, like I said, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook page, which I'll link to, uh, you, you'll, you'll get to see these as I make them and then when they're finished kind of a thing. But um, she's done in Distress Inks, and this is a stamp from Prima, so I don't think I can draw this well. Because I can't. <coughs> Not yet, anyhow. I'll, I'll learn eventually. It'll happen. That one's old. Those are fish. Art is pain. With cystic fibrosis, art is pain. Anyway. Uh, see, because I draw like that instead. Um, I don't know that there's anything else, except for, obviously, this one I just made. That's a jellyfish, if you can't tell. It is. I, I You know, Prince died today, and I, I don't really have, like, any connection with Prince, but I've always liked the phrase purple rain, so purple rain. And I wanted to use the purple paint. This is a disaster. I have no idea what happened here. It's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
Maybe I'll paint over it, but right now it's just, I don't know. It's just there. This obviously has a video if you want to watch it. Or, you know, Easter video. Did the whole thing. That is just a bunch of red. That is that girl that I drew. And that's a page I haven't finished yet. Still. And then this is one of those things where you like cut the pages and you can stagger them and stuff. I haven't thought of a plan, but I wanted to cut the pages, so that's what I've done. And my other journal's over there, so I don't feel like getting it. So that's, that's the most I can show you. I don't think I've done a whole lot that I haven't either filmed or that hasn't been on a canvas. So you're probably good. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'm losing my ability to speak, so I'm going to say goodbye. 